The serverless framework is a tool that helps you build serverless applications, which are apps that auto-scale massively while only charging you fractions of a cent. And now the framework comes with monitoring, testing, and security features to help you operate those apps, all of which are available for free. My name is Austin. I'm the CEO and founder of Serverless Inc. And here's a quick overview of the bigger and bolder serverless framework. First, install the serverless framework via NPM by running NPM install serverless with the global flag. Then run the serverless command to create your first project. This will create your project files, walk you through setting up credentials for the cloud provider you wish to deploy to, and sign you up for a serverless account so you can gain access to all features of the framework. Here's your serverless framework project. The framework can deploy serverless applications on all major cloud providers, but we're using AWS for this example, as is written here. Now there are three major concepts to be aware of here. The first are functions. These are AWS Lambda functions that run your code. Up next are events. These are things that happen to trigger your code to run, like an HTTP request or something was uploaded to an AWS S3 bucket. And last, there's all other infrastructure resources, like a database you may wish to use with your function code. Now this function points to some hello world code. It's very simple. Let's make it accessible via a URL by adding an HTTP event to the function. And then deploy. Within seconds, you have a serverless API endpoint up and running, and I'll send some requests to it via the browser. Serverless Framework now automatically instruments your project, and you can see what's happening with your serverless app in the serverless dashboard. A link to the dashboard is shown after your deployment. Here you can see invocations, errors, duration information, cold starts, and a lot more. Dash lines show when deployments have occurred, and you could already see the requests I made to the function a few seconds ago. Everything here is clickable, so you could drill down to get more information. Now, let's test out Serverless Framework's alerting system. We're going to deploy this function again, but with an error in it. You can see the API endpoint is now failing. Back in the Serverless dashboard, we can see an error alert was generated immediately. When we click the error alert, we could not only see what function it came from and when it happened, we could see exactly where the error is in the code as well as all logs from the invocation of that function. This and other alerts are available to every application deployed with the serverless framework, like when a function receives an unusual amount of requests, or when a function ran for an unusually long time, or when a function is approaching its configured timeout limit. Best of all, all of these alerts are configured automatically. All you have to do is deploy. This is a small sample of the features available in the new serverless framework. There's also built-in support for secrets, enabling you to set secrets in the dashboard and reference them in your projects. There are safeguards or policies you could set to control what your team can and cannot do, like which regions they can use, which AWS accounts they can deploy to. These policies can also check if your functions are over permissioned. There is also a powerful invocation explorer where you can easily inspect past invocations to better troubleshoot issues. This is the new serverless framework. It's no longer a tool for only development and deployment, but for the entire serverless application lifecycle. Best of all, you could use all of these features for free. Sign up at serverless.com and take it for a spin.